if there's one thing that I get asked all of the time, it's about being a CSR. Now, I thought of finally making this video so that I could answer your questions and help you achieve this dream. So, are you guys ready? So, if you are, let's go. Her first year. Thank you, Angelique. This is Angelique and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell beside it to get notified every time I post a new video for you. Well guys, today I am going to be finally starting a series that will answer my most asked question. I'm making this video as an ode to the dreamers out there. I know we share the same dream. My dream before was to be a courtside reporter and I am very, very fortunate to have been given the chance to show my heart and what I can do to fulfill the role of being a courtside reporter for three years and counting now and I could not be any more grateful for ABS-CBN Sports in Action and to my fairy godmoms and to USD for making it possible. So if you are looking for a sign as to whether you want to audition, this is it. This is the sign you are looking for. You should go for it. Now before I even begin a thing, I would like to make a disclaimer. I, I want to say that I am in no way an expert on this one. I've had my share of experiences, pero I am still learning as in, and dami ko pa natututunan every time I get asked about this question or every time I go back to work. Like what my bosses told me um, when I was auditioning and habang I was fulfilling the role of being a courtside reporter, no experience is ever the same. Every year, different audition, every year, different, you know, challenges or rounds per se so i'm not gonna fully divulge everything that happened during my audition process as some sort of respect then to my bosses but of course i didn't want to you know rub you off of the experience of going there alam mo yun kasi me me something exciting about not knowing what's gonna happen it gives you the thrill yet it you know, scares you a bit. Pero alam mo yung feeling kasi, that sense of fulfillment when you get passed through even just a single challenge or a single round. So I thought the first video for the series, I'd be talking about my CSR story and the preps I did. You know, it's that time of the year again. I know, halos katatapos lang ng classes sa ibang universities. Pero UAP season is just around the corner. Nakakita kasi ako ng parang video or an ad na do you want to be the next courtside reporter sa YouTube since I was following the ABS-CBN Sports and Action channel. I will link it here, the video over here or give you the link in the description box below. And nung nakita ko yun, parang nag-flashback lahat yung memories nung nag-apply ako as a courtside reporter. Um... I guess my CSR journey really started back when I was a freshman. I watched my first live UAAP game in Samoa Arena. I had zero sports knowledge. I didn't have any idea. But when I was watching a DLED, since we were in the upper box or general admission, since mga freshy pa nga lang kami. And then I saw a small screen sa LED na nag-pop out and then there was this beautiful girl or beautiful woman who was talking. Of course, I couldn't hear it from the LED but I saw her every single quarter popping in and out of the screen. I couldn't remember who it was pero that's what got me inspired to be a courtside reporter. I remember tweeting, um, parang ang saya making courtside reporter, lol, something along those lines. Ayon, and then I wasn't able to, you know, audition the year after just because I was underaged. I was around 16 during that time or 15. I waited until I turned 18, which was coming into my senior year. So, parang, Yes, finally makapag audition na ako. And then narelive lang siya nung isang prof ko. Um, my prof, my fairy godmom is Mom Gigi Camus from Ipea. She gave me the idea of why not audition. Um, here's an email address where you can send 
a resume, and then, yun, mag-audition ka na. So, when she gave me the email address, ito na yung pagiging sigurista ko. Sigurista kasi ako as a person. So, what I did was, I sent an inquiry and I sent my resume. Parang around April or, or May pa yun, ganun ako kaaga nag-inquire. Tapos, parang I received an email na parang, oh, I'll get back to you kung na-release na yung audition dates, blah, 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 ganyan. So, I was waiting. So, parang, nagsistart na ako ng internship ko. Ang internship ko, as you all know, sa Saga Events, um, which was in Pasig, kasi sa Pasig yung office nila. So, I was starting with my internship na, and then I didn't hear a feedback or anything, and it was around June. So, around this time, June, wala pang anything, walang feedback, ganyan. So, what happened was, I sent another email. During the second time, wala na nag-reply. As in, nakulitan na siguro siya sa akin. So, ang nangyari was, I went on with my internship period. And then, one day, I saw a post. I think, a Facebook post. Tapos may photo na parang, Are you the next UAP courtside reporter? Ganyan. So, when I saw that, parang, Oh God, ito na yung announcement. This is my chance. So, I saw na you had to personally send in your resume. So, parang ako, oh shucks. Internship period ko sa Pasig, this QC yung office ng ABS-CBN. So, parang, what do I do? Sabi nga nila, third time's the charm. So, I went on and sent in my resume for the third time. So, nag-half day ako. Sorry sa mga boss ko. Yun pa yung panahon na hindi uso yung grab. At yun yung panahon na legit commute pa tayo lahat. So, I, I wasn't really well-versed with directions. As in, super... Tanga ko talaga when it comes to directions. Ayun! So, I went all the way from PASIC to ABS just to submit my application form. And then, I handed it sa magiging direct ko pala um, in the long run or after everything. Si Direct Abbott, sa kanya ko personally pinasa. So, ito yung panahon na sports and action pa siya. Hindi pa siya nag-rebrand na SNA. If there's one tip that I will always give you, you just go for it. As in, sabi ko nga, if you're looking for a sign, this is the sign that you are waiting for and you have been waiting for. If you really want to be a courtside reporter, shake off your doubts, your nerves, na what if I can't do this? What if hindi pala ako CSR? What if I'm not tall enough? What if I'm not versed enough? What if I'm not pretty enough? What if I'm not, you know, all of your what ifs. Lahat yan, naririnig ko yan. Lahat yan, dumaan na sa utak ko when I was auditioning as a courtside reporter. Even just filing my application or my resume. Pero since I really wanted to do it, so I did it. Everything that you will need, the email address or where you could submit your application form or resumes, I hope they're in the video or they're in the link. They will give you this email address and then you can send in there and do your inquiries. Now, at this point, I have a confession to make. I didn't freaking know anything but the basics of basketball. As in, sobrang basic. Shoot, two points, three points. Dunk, pass, dribble, rebound. Yung mga ganun. As in, zero knowledge. One reason why I also did this video was... When I was doing my research on what to expect for auditions, I found nothing. Nada. As in, yung nakikita ko lang before, parang yung mga interviews ng mga courtside reporters, and magkakaroon ka lang ng insight on their audition. Dun sa, kunwari, most embarrassing moment, blooper, or parang they will share a kwento na, oh, during my audition, I answered blah, 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 I did this. So, doon ako kumuha ng tidbits on what to expect during the audition. As in, I was so shy to ask them kasi I didn't want anyone to know. As in, wala nakaalam na nag-audition ako. As in, zero. Wala talaga. Not a single soul knew that I was auditioning to be a CSR. Ganyan. As in, Meron point na may nakasabay ako sa audition, si Sam Valmonte, nakasabay ko sa audition. And I knew her personally because we were from the same org. Noong nakita ko siya, tapos nakita niya ako, as in nakiusap talaga ako na, please don't tell anyone that I'm auditioning because I don't want anyone to expect and I don't want to have that kind of pressure. I wanted to go through it as raw and as personal and on my own as much as possible. As in, nahiya akong magtanong kina Ate Cristel, kina Ate Tina, kung ano yung audition process. The same reasoning 
that I have right now is I didn't want to rob myself off of the experience sa pupunta ko doon. Wala talaga akong alam, as in nothing. Hindi ko alam kung ano mangyayari sa akin or what I am gonna be facing. So, I was going in and out of ABS-CBN. I was having my classes, ABS straight to classes. No single soul knew that I was auditioning to be a UST CSR or a courtside reporter in general. Now that I've mentioned it, when you are auditioning as a courtside reporter, you could not expect that you are going to be assigned to your alma mater or to your school. I am very fortunate enough to have been assigned to USD. Pero I take it as a huge compliment para sa mga kasamahan ko na assigned sa ibang college or ibang university on their behalf na wow, they have that much trust in you to represent uh, university kahit hindi ka doon nanggaling. You just have to see things on a different perspective. After all, you're auditioning to be a courtside reporter. It's a big thing. And if you do become a courtside reporter, regardless of what school you get assigned to, at least you get to do the job that you've always dreamt of, di ba? Grabe, ang dami ko nang nakwento. Ang dami ko nang hinanash. For my audition, now I will go into detail on the audition, on my audition, um, and what you have to orient yourself or prepare yourself for um, on my next video, if you would like that. I had to go through around four to five rounds for the audition, tapos every single time nababawasan kami ng nababawasan, umabot sa point na favorite part ko dun sa CSR journey ko was on the on the day na malalaman na pala namin, unknowingly, na magiging courtside reporters kami. Parang they started calling them one by one, go inside the theater kung saan kami nag-audition, and then they went out, and then they proceeded to our room. Tapos parang, pansin namin, anim na lang kaming natitira. And parang, bigla na lang sila nag-announce okay, lunch break, balik na lang kayo after lunch break, tas itutuloy natin yung announcement. So, parang kami! So, anim kami, nag-proceed kami sa McDo, tas doon na kami nag-chikahan. Now, yung anim na yun, you all know us. Um, yung anim na yun was myself, Nina Alria, Pauline Verzosa, Ira Pablo, Steph Monse, and Daniel Krishnan. Kami yung anim na natira. I was keeping my hopes up na sana ma-assign ako sa USD just because second year na ni Ate Cristel the year before and sabi sa amin parang maximum of two years ka lang pwede maging courtside reporter. So the slots that were really open was the NU and USD slots kasi naka two years na si Ate Cristel at saka si Trisha Robredo. So, I was keeping my hopes up. Pero yung mga natira kasi, parang tatlo silang UP. So, we were all still in competitive mode. Not until we went back sa ABS and we underwent, you know, another test. Sabi nila, kami na yung final six. And then we underwent the test one by one. And I was the first one kasi may class ako 6 p.m. Guys, if you are from USD and if you are from communication arts, you would know how deadly and how crazy media law is. Only class for that day was media law. And it was already around 4, 4.30. And you cannot be late sa media law. So I had to volunteer na, sige na po, ako na po mauna. I was in my uniform as in so that pagkatapos ng test, aalis na ako talaga and then pray to the gods that they would email me back and tell me that I was a courtside reporter. So I went inside the theater and then did the test and then Derek Abbott, the director of UAAP, suddenly stopped me and talked to me na parang he gave me feedback and then he told me, biglaan na parang, You will be the USD courtside reporter. Oh my god. And then I was like blank. As in wala akong naisip. As in sabi ko na lang, "Oh my god." As in right now, I'm I'm really having the chills and medyo naiiyak ako remembering that moment. Oh my god, naiiyak talaga ako. Alam mo yung feeling na you were really working hard for it because you really wanted it. Tapos, they believed in you and they trusted you. Parang sobrang surreal. What the heck? Oh my God, courtside reporter na ako. What? 
As in, ganun yung feeling, I, I cried. As in, I cried talaga. And the hardest part was, I had to go through my class and act like nothing grand happened to me. As in, I remember the travel back home sa FX. I, I, I was shaking. I, I was crying. I really wanted to tell, you know, someone na, na, Uy, grabe, I'm gonna be a courtside reporter. What? What? What happened? I had to lie to my best friend na katabi ko lang during the class na I couldn't tell her. Like, UAAP is such a big thing for her. And to be a part of UAAP for the team she loves the most. Parang, I can only imagine how happy she is for me. Yung best friend na yon is Marian. Um, and then, after a few short days, on August 20th, I'd like to believe it was August. I want to double check. I'm, I'm backtracking on my emails. Tas, hindi ko naman din expect na magiging emotional yung first video ko. So, tama. On August 20th, I could not forget, forget na 20th siya nangyari. I received an email na parang, Hi, you AP78 CSRs! Here are the men's basketball season assignments. And then, pinakahuli, USD Angelique Manto. Ito yung panahon na I was already in the training when they sent the email and when the announcement sa Twitter was made. Yung announcement pa sa Twitter nun, very vague. As in, yung pangalan lang namin, yung first names lang namin, and then people started tagging me. Angelique, ikaw ba to? Angelique, ikaw ba yung Angelique dito? I was in the men's basketball training para ang... Sinabi ko lang sa kanila, parang, oh, I'm just observing kasi nag-audition ako. And the best part was that, nung sinabi ko yung coach mo, kay Kevin, they told me na parang, hindi, ko na yan. For sure, ikaw na yung court sa reporter. They, they really believed already that I was gonna be reporting for them. And I was visiting them as much as I could. You know, alam mo yung alam ko na na, oh, ako yung court sa reporter nyo, but I couldn't really tell them because we weren't allowed. Pero, no August 20, when I received the email and when it was announced on Twitter, I told them na, okay, it's official, I'm gonna be your court sa reporter. Um, they welcomed me to the family, they welcomed me as a part of the team. I remember really Kevin telling them na, oh, ito! Um, kapatid natin siya, like, she's going to be your sister in the team. You have to protect her. You have to respect her. And, you know, parang naging big brother or kasanga ako si Kevin since he was team captain during that season. And then the experience got better and better. On my first year, I was able to report for the finals, though unfortunately we didn't win. But the great part was that if we experienced hardships sa women's volleyball naman no first year ko as a courtside reporter, second year naman, they gave me a great exit as their courtside reporter. As in, I love, love, love those girls dearly with all of my heart. We were able to come back and to return to the final four. We may not have made it to the finals, but being with them in the semifinals, I couldn't have asked for a much better two years as a courtside reporter. First year ko, as in last day of reporting ko, was April 10, was the birthday of my dad. And that's when I realized that everything was working because he was, you know, because he was helping me and he was the reason why, you know, I actually did it and I actually am living my dream. It was also grand because even athletes from other sports, they, they treated me as an ate, you know, saling gawi. I was just so happy to have experienced the highs and the lows of my teams and I was so grateful that they trusted me to share their stories and i hope i made my two years as a court reporter worthwhile as in i i always i always cry every time i remember um court reporter and i was renewed for a second year after 
much anticipation and much waiting. As in, it wasn't until like the last week of August that it was announced na, oh, maroon yung kayong anim to be a Korcha reporter again for season 79. And I was so blessed and I was so happy and I felt like God was working wonders for my life. Kasi USD was the host and how big is it or how big was it to be a courtside reporter, a returning courtside reporter for your school who's hosting the UAAP season, diba? It was that grand for me. So I was super blessed. I was granted the second year. I was granted the third year, not as a courtside reporter, but as a UAAP insider. I couldn't talk right now. I am overwhelmed with emotions. So ayun, that was the rough summary of my CSR experience. For my first video in the series, what I would want you guys to have as a takeaway from this video is that we all start from somewhere. In my case, I started from scratch and it was all about taking a risk. So please, please do take a risk. I am overwhelmed every time you guys message me na I inspire you to apply and audition as a courtside reporter. I want you to experience even just the audition. Parang sense of fulfillment na rin yun na masabi nyo na, oh, nakapag-audition ako. Akala ko hindi ko kaya. Nagduda ako sa sarili ko na I audition, but I made it. I was able to audition. So yon. So that is my CSR story, my courtside story on how I started, and that's my first video and my episode one for my hashtag CSR Diaries. I hope you enjoyed my story. I know this may not be the first video you wanted uh, me to make or the first chapter no CSR Diaries. But I really wanted to start from the very beginning. So if you have any questions and if you have any suggestions on what my episode 2 for my CSR Diaries should be, please sound them off down in the comment section below. Um, I'm thinking of the auditions, my preparations, and um, what I oriented myself to expect so ayun, please do comment down below any questions, any suggestions, all pertaining and regarding CSRs on being a courtside reporter. I would love to get video suggestions para makatulong yung CSR diaries na to sa inyo. And again, the auditions are about to start. I will link the video down below or here sa i button. Um, everything that you need to know will be there. You could inquire like I did. And that's a wrap, you guys. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell beside it to get notified every time I post a new video for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This has been Angelique, and I'll see you in my next video for my hashtag CSR Diaries. I hope this helped. Bye!